How you doing everybody? I'm Nick DiVirgilio and this is the Tama Star Classic Walnut Birch 4-Piece Shell Pack. Here we go. Thomas Star Classic drums have been around for a really long time, but now they've taken them to another level where they've mixed together birch and walnut and made a fantastic sounding drum kit. I have a real soft spot in my heart for walnut wood and drum making. I think it's a great tone wood. Birch has nice crack, nice attack, nice clarity to the wood, and that walnut gives it just some warmth, some fuzziness, some mellowness, coupled together, really great sounding drums. This particular kit comes with an eight by 10 inch rack tom, a 9 by 12 inch rack tom, a 14 by 16 inch floor tom, and a 16 by 22 inch kick drum. All outfitted out of the box, mind you, all outfitted out of the box with Evans G2 on the top, so great professional drum heads on the top, clear versions, and a clear one ply head on the bottom, so great, right out of the box you're going to sound great with these drums. I do recommend you change up heads, change up head combinations whenever you buy a new kit, but you know, these heads will last you for a long time, and then I suggest just, you know, Try some other things to see if there's a tone out there that you really love that's different than these, and if not, you can come back to the clear G2s and rock and roll for a really long time. Let's get into the sound of these toms here, and then I'll get into the details of the drums. We'll take the head off of one of the rack toms so you can see the gorgeous wood on the inside of the shell and the edges and all of that. But for now, let's hear the drums without any music or anything else going on in the background. Right now, so the toms, snare wires off. Here we go. <laughs> the sustain on the floor tom lasts a really long time and that's a beautiful thing, believe me. Now let me put the snare wires on and do the same thing for you. Really musical tone with these drums, nice tone interval. They tuned really easy. There's a nice warmth to these drums right out of the box. It's beautiful. I didn't have to tune them that much actually right out of the box, but I did bring them up in pitch a little bit. You know, and you can go higher or lower. They're pretty fat sounding right now. I just felt that they went to this tone, this pitch, easily and naturally. So, right, let's get to the kick drum now. This is a 16 by 22. It's outfitted with an Evans EQ4 right out of the box, so great professional kick drum head as well. There is a hole in the front head, slight bit of dampening on the inside, but not too much. And here you go, snare wires off. Pretty darn punchy from the player's perspective. And I was out in front of this drum kit earlier while someone else was hitting it, and the warmth and the low end coming off the kick drum from the front of the drum set, the audience perspective, is fantastic. All right, snare wires on, same thing for you. Snare wires giving a little bit of an added attack to the kick drum when they're on. Okay, let me put all the drums together now and play them without music in the background. But let me tell you first, you know, shell packs do not come with snare drums normally. So I outfitted the kit today with a Thomas Starphonic aluminum snare drum. Fantastic drum. I have an HD dry head on it from Evans. Really cool drum and it goes with this kit in a nice way. Here we go. So all the drums together with no music in the background. So much fun to play. It's really inspirational. You can play these drums in any style of music for sure, but really these drums rock. 
put these drums in a setting with distorted guitars and a big fat bass rig with an SVT or something loud and these drums are going to cut through and just give you some really nice feel and sound. Let's quickly go through the details about the toms and how they're made. The toms and the floor tom are six plies, thick, six millimeters, and there's four plies of birch on the outside, and the two inner plies are the walnut. Perfect bearing edges all the way around, great sound. The kick drum is eight plies, there's six plies of birch, and then the two inner plies are walnut. Again, beautiful edges, great sound. All right, everybody, I've removed a couple things, and I want to show you a couple of cool features in the hardware. I also want to take the head off so I can show you the inside of the drum. But before we get to that, when you get this drum in the box, the StarCast mounting system is not installed, but it is super easy. So let me show you how that works real fast here. It's connected by three points that have nothing to do with the tuning rods or the lugs of the drum. Okay, all you do is unscrew these little rubber pieces here. One two, hold it so it doesn't fall and, and scratch your drum at all. It's very lightweight. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy as they say. Super easy. And again, it's going to come in the box like this. The holes are there. Let me show you. Get a nice view of the holes. On the rim, you can't miss them. They're big. Okay. What this also does too is if you want to, Say you want, you don't like where the badge is positioned, the way it's looking to out towards the audience. You can move this around so the badge is on the left side or the right side whenever you, you know, mount your drum a different way. A lot of guys like to have their smaller tom, not as the first rack tom, maybe sometimes as the second rack tom. And if you did that and you didn't turn, turn this piece around, the badge would be pointing towards you. The audience wouldn't see the badge. So you just take the, the rim off, turn it one way, and then the badge will be facing in the, the audience, right? So again, really super simple to do. I just wanted to show you how easy it is and how you get it in, out of the box. I've taken the head off of the rack tom so I can show you the inside of the drum shell, also the edges. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can really see the dark, lush color of the walnut wood here. The wood grain, nice natural finish. They kept the natural finish on the inside, so it's beautiful looking. Uh, the edges are perfect, nice and smooth. Also, you know, the lacquer comes all the way up to the edge of the drum and you don't feel any kind of difference at all when it gets to the edge. Just beautiful manufacturing, great drum artisanship here. Okay, everybody, let's talk about the hardware on this kit. Super high-end, really professional hardware all around this Thomas Star Classic Birch Walnut Kit. Starting with the hoops here. These are zinc die cast hoops. Great attack and resonance from these hoops. Now these are made with an injection molding process, not stamped like typical triple flanged hoops. So you just get, again, really great resonance. It's great for the tuning, die cast hoops. They, you get consistent tuning with them. They're a little bit heavier, so you, that's where the resonance is going to come in on these beautiful shells. So great hoops on these drums all the way around. Beautiful looking lugs on these Tama drums. They've been around for a long time, but they're gorgeous and really do the job well. On the rack toms, you get the star cast mounting system, a really cool, easy to use, consistently working mounting system. Now, let me show you how it works here real quick. Right here, you have a little notch back and forth. When you undo the notch, I can pull the tom right off. And that's my memory lock right there, right? Put it back on, push the knob over, and it's locked in place. When you want to take the tom off completely, including the rest of the mounting system, then you undo the wing nut right here. But it's a really convenient, really easy mounting system to use, and your, the consistency of having that memory lock there, this big memory lock there, is a great feature because your toms are going to be in the same place every gig you go to. Take your toms off, put them back on, they're in the right spot. And it's good for me to mention that the floor tom legs have the exact same mounting system as the rack toms. Same notch on and off part, uh, same memory lock system, so every time you take your floor tom in and out of a club, in and out of a gig, it's going to be the same height and angle every time. Very convenient feature.
Now let's talk about how the toms are mounted on the kick drum. Like what? Kick drums today almost never have tom mounts directly mounted on the kick drums anymore. That's the old school, old style way to do it. And I have to tell you something, I really like it quite a bit. Does it take away that, the sound of the kick drum? Are you losing resonance and oomph from the kick drum? If you do, I certainly can hear it. This kick drum is fat sounding. It feels good underneath my feet and having the toms mounted directly on it is great and just seriously convenient. The toms are in the right spot just naturally because that's where they're supposed to be. There are shell packs of the Star Classic Walnut Birch Drum Kits that don't have the toms mounted on the kick drum. You can get it so the toms are mounted on cymbal stands, no holes in the kick drum. You can easily go down that road if you want to. I just thought I'd show this one because it's the old school, just really natural way to play, in my humble opinion, of course. Very easy to use. Uh, easily move your toms around wherever you want to go. Great ball joint right here to get your tom in whatever angle you want. You also have a locking lug nut right here. Let me show you how that works. If you loosen up this lug nut right here, this piece moves back and forth. So the angle adjustments of your toms are really limitless with the universal ball joint and that piece loosening right there. You can get your toms any angle, any height, and they really stay consistently in place. I want to mention one more thing about this bass drum mount here, which I think is pretty cool. The tube does not go through the shell and all the way into the kick drum, like the old days. It actually stops at the bottom of the piece right here, and if you want to raise or lower your toms, you loosen this wing nut right here, and this goes up and down. But again, the tube does not go into the drum, so you're really not getting a holeless kick drum, just like you would a virgin kick drum that doesn't have the toms mounted on top of it. So again, they thought of everything when making the hardware for this Star Classic kit. The claw hooks on this kit are really cool because they're rubber lined on the inside. The lug nuts go inside, they're recessed in, so they're not sticking out. It's like a nice, clean, and sleek look, but the rubber lining is going to take care of these beautiful lacquered hoops and not get any scratches or dents because of the claw hooks. They work really well. Let's talk about spurs. Now, if you've watched any of my videos talking about drum kits, I am a stickler for good spurs on a kick drum because they're really important. Your kick drum shouldn't move forward or slide from one angle to the other, and good spurs do their job. If they do their job right, your kick drum stays in place. These Thomas spurs on this Star Classic kit, I have to be some of the best in the business. I've played all of the spurs, all the drums out there, and there's some great ones out there too, don't get me wrong, but these work well. You have notches on the leg that goes in and out so you can get the exact height of your spur every time. It locks in place, it can't go too far forward when you open up the spur so you can't uh, lose your place of the angle of the spur going forward. They're just consistent, they're uh, hardy and beefy, and your kick drum will never move. Very cool spurs. The floor tom legs, like I mentioned earlier, have the same mounting system as the rack toms, but also the feet of the floor tom legs are air cushioned. So that's gonna help keep the resonance of that floor tom, especially if you're on a stage, like a hollow stage. You know, a lot of time with drums, including cymbals, or when you have your toms mounted on the cymbal stands, you play the drum, the sound will actually move down the cymbal stand and kind of dissipate into the stage. You lose a little bit of that oomph, a little bit of that low end and resonance of the drum. The air cushioning on these floor tom legs really helps to alleviate that and you get the full resonance of the drum every time you strike it. Now let's talk about this finish. What a cool finish on this kit. This is called the Phantasm Oyster. Phantasm Oyster. Now this is a lacquer. You might think this is a wrap finish, but it's not. This is a beautiful kit. Looks amazing under these lights. You know it's gonna look great on a stage with big lights, wherever this is set up. It's great looking color. There are other lacquers with this similar sort of style, other colored lacquers in the Walnut Birch kit. And there's also a bunch of wrap finishes too. The color selection is quite varied and wide. So talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer and pick the exact color for you. Uh, but this one is just a really cool, beautiful looking color. I want to encourage you to check out the text below the video. There I'll have links to all of the other fantastic gear I have here with me today. Fantastic Minel cymbals, beautiful Audio-Technica microphones all around, the recording gear. They'll all have links directly to their product pages if you want to check out that gear. There you have it everybody, the Thomas Star Classic Walnut Birch 4-Piece Shell Pack. There's other shell packs, other sizes of these drums, and again, a lot of other colors. If you want any more information about these drums, this Tama product, or any other Tama product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching this video.